Hello students welcome to the online classes of Cerebral Institute this video on law of demand is brought to you by Cerebral Institute sparking imaginative learning in this video we will be discussing each and everything about law of demand let's start first of all we need to discuss that what is the difference between desire want and demand desire is what it is just a wishful thing that means you have a particular wish you want to buy a commodity in your future but in desire you don't have enough money to buy that commodity okay there is lack of money right want is what when you have enough money to buy that commodity your desire becomes your want when your desire is supported by a ability to pay you are willing to pay you have the ability to pay demand is what demand is when you actually purchase the thing in the market at a particular price and at a given period of time so desire is what just a wish your desire becomes your want when you have enough money you are willing to pay and your want becomes your demand when you actually purchase the commodity okay let's move on next is the definition of demand what is demand demand refers to various quantities of a commodity that a consumer is willing to buy at different possible prices of a commodity and at a given period of time kinds of demand three types price demand income demand and cross demand we'll discuss all these things in the further videos okay next okay here is the main topic law of demand law of demand is what it states that other things being equal quantity demanded of a commodity is inversely related to price of the commodity that means if your price is increasing if your price of a commodity is increased your demand for that commodity is decreased and if your price of the commodity is decreased your quantity demanded is increased simple it is decrease in the price will lead to increase in demand and increase in price will lead to decrease in demand simple demand curve is always downward sloping it is always negative why because when you have price 50 maximum price okay your demand is minimum and when your price is minimum rupees 10 your demand is maximum okay i hope you all have got the point that law of demand is in greater the greater the price of the commodity lesser the demand of the commodity lesser the price of commodity and greater the demand of the commodity okay exceptions there are some exceptions to law of demand that means not all the goods that means law of demand is not applicable to all the goods there are some exceptions also first is given goods given goods are what they are inferior goods in this case if your price is decreased your demand is decreased why because the purchasing power is increased if your purchasing power is increased you are, you can buy more commodities of the superior goods so in in inferior goods if the price decreases demand also decreases and if your price increases that means your purchasing power is decreased and you can buy more of the inferior good but less of the superior goods ignorance of the consumer sometimes there is some uh, ignorance in respect of consumers they they buy the commodity when actually price is high right articles of distinction they are status symbol goods for example diamonds expensive paintings carpets in this case if price of commodity is increased increased demand is also increased why because it is a status symbol of of your right okay so a demand law of demand doesn't apply in this type of goods goods expected to become costly if you in if in future you think that some goods uh, the the price of the some goods will increase so you you will buy more of the goods 
now if the price is increased right necessities for example milk electricity and all you have to buy because you live on that particular commodities whether the price is increased or decreased other exceptions like change in seasons climatic conditions natural calamities etc main question why does demand curve slopes downward law of diminishing marginal utility when you consume more and more of a commodity the utility the satisfaction of that commodity is decreased income effect if your price is decreased your real income will increase and you will buy more your demand will be more if your price is decreased your real, real income will decreased and you will demand less so income has effect on your demand substitution effect what is substitution effect like coke and pepsi if you if the price of coke is increased you can have pepsi and vice versa size of consumer good if your uh, demand increased your consumer group is less size of consumer good will be less alternative use of commodity like electricity thank you have a nice day